Hi there, I'm Steven Facchino, Engineering and Construction Manager for Mortarnet Solutions. And today I wanted to discuss a little bit about block flash. Block flash is a polypropylene material that has a pan that covers each individual cell of your CMU wall. It has a weep spout that has a built-in bug guard and it has a bridge that allows any moisture that comes between the block to filter back over to the weep spout and to work its way out. Block flash comes in 8 inch, 10 inch, and 12 inch sizes. So it works well with all your standard block as well as half highs and some of your economy high efficiency insulated blocks. Along with the pan you get a mesh piece that goes on top. The longer mesh works with the full size units. You just basically push it in there like that and what happens is any mortar droppings from further construction get caught in the mat and then they don't end up clogging your weep spout. So you're filtering any mortar that would get to your weep. The smaller mesh is used for half high units. It's a little more convenient and a little faster. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay up a few pieces and I'm going to demonstrate how the block flash will work for you. Basically what you do is you come in here and you set your pans one after another. Now what I have here is I have a grouted cell. So this is going to be fully grouted all the way up. So what I need to do is break this tab off. It's very simple to do. You basically fold it once or twice, just peel it off, and put your tab even with the face of your wall. It's very important that you don't extend your tabs over the face of the wall like that or even a little bit because what that can do is create a leak on the back side of the wall. Once these are in place what we'll do is we'll go ahead and spread some mortar and I'll show you a very important is to cross web your mortar at your grouted cells so that you hold any grout that comes in when it's wet from pouring either left or right onto your spouts. Okay one thing I'd like to point out about the block flash pan is on a 8 inch unit 7 and 5 eighths you have about approximately one inch of bed mortar spread over each pan. What's important about that is it helps you maintain a good flexural bond uh, at the base of your wall and over all your window openings. I'm going to spread the mortar now and you can see kind of how easy it is to install. It only took me a second or two to put all these pans out. Now I'm going to spread mortar and continue to lay my material on top. Now I'm going to cross web my mortar. I'm going to go ahead and lay a couple blocks in place. Now I have some block flash installed on some wet mortar. So if it was not going to work, the wet mortar would probably help prevent it from working probably faster than anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a real quick water test to demonstrate how the block flash pans will work. As I pour down into the pan, you can see the water leaks out pretty quickly. Now I'm doing this test without even cleaning or striking the wall, so I'm going to go ahead and do the striking real quick. Now my weep spout is right here and I've tooled over it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and clean it out. doesn't take much to clean them out, just a flip of your tuck pointer. The last step involved in installing block flash properly would be to put the mesh in. In the case in the half highs, what we're going to use are the smaller pieces. You just punch them in with your hand. Make sure they cover the pan. It keeps all the following debris from the rest of the block that you lay, all the mortar droppings from clogging the weep spout. And the larger piece is when you're using it with a full size unit. You just push it in with your hand and that's all there is to it. I'm Stephen Facchino. Thank you.